Good day, folks. I'm Don. This is Rock of the Country. I'm doing a gift request. Marine Fireman 219. Shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for the gift and the request. And I, I was going to wear either my FDNY hat in your honor or my um, PGFD, my no, yeah, Princess George Fire Department hat that Don Poole had sent me. But I decided, you know what? I think I did that last time. So I'll wear a different hat. Anyway, I think you're in, are you in northern Indiana? Is that 219? I used to spend time out in Indiana. I know that's 317, but area code. But anyway, uh, you wanted me to do Bill Anderson's Golden Guitar. So I'm going to get after it. I don't know this song, so it's a true reaction. I think you would give me another option to do as well. I, forget, I wrote it down. I'll eventually get to that one. I'll do that one as like a normal request. But this one is a gift request. So let's do Bill. I wonder if this is earlier in his career or older. I think we may find out. I happened to walk into a honky tonk one night down in New Orleans. Up above the bar hung a big guitar like none I'd ever seen. The neck was set with diamonds, and though the strings were old, like kings of sound. They wound around six keys of solid gold. Oh, yeah. A man stepped up beside me. His breath was strong with wine. He said, you know, that guitar once belonged to a mighty close pal of mine. He used to play it right here. I forget the year. Around 45, I think. Sounds familiar. I could tell you quite a story, friend. If you'd care to buy me a drink. Huh, let me see. I gotta check to see if I've done this. That story, that beginning sounds familiar. Not the way he sang it, but what he sang. All right, I just looked it up. I did Smiley Bates rendition of this song. I don't know if it's the same one, but I'm gonna guess it is. But we're continuing with this one because this is this is Bill. We're gonna hear the story now. Well possessed by every weakness that makes a man a fool. I bought a round, he drank it down, and then he rocked back on his stool. He said, yeah, I remember now. It was 45, all right. He had just returned from the Great War. That's where he lost his sight. His buddies gave him that guitar. At the time, it was simple and plain. He added the gold and the diamonds as he played his way to fame. He was doing a show in Shreveport the night he received the call to come up here on the Grand Ole Opry, the greatest show of all. Clean guitar. It would have to be for this song, right? I was driving him to Nashville. It was cold and misting rain. The signals flashed and the whistle screamed, but I swear, mister, I never saw that train. I heard the doctor tell him, just after he'd used his knife, You're lucky, son. It was just your arm. No. It could have been your life. But he died that night. 
life just demanded more than he could give. I think he could have made it. He just lost his will to live. I understand that. But this world's loss is heaven's gain. And tonight he's still a star. He plays with a band of angels. That's my son's golden guitar. Damn. I didn't remember that. If Smiler's rendition's the same, I think it is. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was a true story of someone's life. I, something in me tells me it's not. But I don't remember. Because I just don't remember hearing a story like this anywhere along the line of somebody who was going to be in the Opry and then died on the way there, basically. But Marine Fireman, yeah. I mean, that's just one of those songs. You could see where he got his nickname from, Whispering Bill Anderson, because <laughs> you really have to listen in. And if you're driving in the car, you might, like, get distracted uh, you'd be driving slower than you should be probably, but you'd be distracted because you'd be like trying to focus in on what he's saying because he says it so quietly. But yeah, that's one of those stories that you listen to and, you know, Johnny Cash would have told it differently. Uh, Whalen and these guys, um, John Prine certainly, but Whisper and Bill just had his own style as we know. And uh, all right, I'm going to rate this song. The dude lost his arm, but then lost his life. So, I mean, that's a crappy way to go out. Yeah, it's from like the highs of the lows. You're going to go to the Opry, and he's going to buy this guitar. The number that popped into my head was an 8.8. .8. It's just one of those stories that you're like, oh, you just feel it. You're being taken right along. But the guitar picking in this was crisp. The bass was nice, but the lead was just crisp. It wasn't overdone. It was just there, but it was all there just to, to uh, support Bill's voice and singing in this song. So that's exactly what it did. So Marine Fireman, thank you, my friend. I'll get to the other one in due course. Give me a little bit of time and, uh, and I'll get to that one too. Okay, folks, have a great day. I'll see you on another video and keep rocking the country. <laughs>